हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ क्लास फॉर बीए पार्ट थ्री इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड वी विल बी डूइंग ए क्रिटिकल समरी ऑफ द एसे इन डिफेंस ऑफ शाइनेस बाय हेरोल्ड निकलसन हेरोल्ड निकलसन uh was oxford student and he was a prolific writer and he has written more than 125 books to his credit he published critical essays as well as biographical works on writers like paul verlaine tennyson byron swinburne king george etc and his books on diplomacy politics travel accounts mystery novels uh, were also published he was a columnist also and he wrote for he wrote book reviews and uh, book reviews for london evening standard uh, the newspaper and he gave radio talks also he was a member of parliament that is mp also and he was knighted knighthood is a very important title in england which is conferred upon by the queen or king of england so he was knighted in 1953 his works include curzon the last phase politics in the train helen stover diplomacy the congress of vienna and journey to java so in this manner he has written on variety of topics and he is remembered for his uh, critical essays this particular essay in defense of sinesh is a simple satirical essay in this essay Herold advocates the necessity importance and benefits of shyness he tells that shyness is very necessary for the development of our personality and he says that shyness is a kind of protective fluid which protects the development of our personalities in a very natural way shyness is like a protective fluid which our personality takes in in which we our personality takes the right kind of shape and it remains safe from outer dangers shyness keeps us away from other evils which contaminate our personality and character without this fluid of shyness our character will only be imitative or a copy of others see how uh, satirical he is about shyness uh, he considers shyness as a shield only which protects us from various evils and it is the shyness he he says Uh, it is the shyness which is like a, sho- a soft velvet cover within which our characteristics and specialities are nourished ready to be disclosed in the world the author remembers those days when the author lived at his grandmother's house he was jealous grandmother's house where he was jealous and he hated a servant boy named everald why because grandmother used to give tea parties where hot tea cakes were served to guests it was author's duty to serve them but it was a very difficult task because he had to serve the cakes from a dish removing the lid and covering it simultaneously her grandmother grandmother rebuked him for not doing the service perfectly she said that 
Everett was more expert in his work and the author should learn from him. Later, Harold realizes that he himself was better than the little poodle and he calls poodle to that servant in his work. Though he was, lit he was little soiled and slightly imperfect in his work, but he was nice even though. Further, Nicholson says that there are two types of shyness which is like a disease, the physical type and the mental type. Those shy who suffer from physical shyness show through their limbs and their movements that they are shy. Their arms and legs make jerky movements and they don't remain still. The victims of mental shyness don't move their limbs but whatever they say or whatever they see in particular is very peculiar. These indications tell their shyness. This type of shy are liable to be pitied, the author says. Harold says that person of physical shyness can use his great circumspection and hence he can avoid the results of his suffering that is shyness and at last he can sit down in silence but the mental type of shy don't get relief until they are left alone. So in a very uh, satirical manner the author tries to give you the picture of shy people. The essay says that it is the justified fact for shyness that one is to be shy for all the people all the time. There is no reason of being shy. It is one's nature that he feels comfortable in his shyness. But shyness should be equal to others. It should not be varied person to person. Shyness should not be varied from person to person. He, I, I, I will shy this much from this person and I will shy this much for this person this person. One should not be cunning to governess and polite to bishops, therefore should not be discriminating. If one is shy, one should always be shy. If one is always shy, people will consider about him that he is a modest and gentle person. This type of view will act as a flatterer to people's self-esteem and they will make you popular as a gentleman. Once you are popular, you can enjoy to be interesting, intelligent and impressive. Without popularity, these qualities are nothing to you. But it is also a fact that to get admiration from other people, one should remove jealousy and envy from hearts. The author further says that shyness is completely Anglo-Saxon feelings. He means to say that shyness is the quality which Anglo-Saxon people possessed and which caused them fail. Harold gives some example from literary world and says that many of the renowned authors and poets were shy and some were not. However, they were emotional and soft in their writings. He says that Virgin, who was one of the tenderest Roman poet, was not shy. He was bold. Horace was too much of bold and high speaking. Dante was also not shy, though he was unpleasant. Then there are Racine. Then there was Racine. He was definitely shy to the point that he ran away and hid at Port Royal. But a critic, Mr. Lemaitre, was remarked. He has remarked that Mr. Racine is totally different from others. Harold says that shyness is an Anglo-Saxon quality and it should be regarded and honored as a bond which keeps up combining the English-speaking nations. And in this manner, the essay comes to an end. Thank you very much. And uh, if you find any kind of difficulty in the understanding of this essay in the text, you can WhatsApp me your queries. Thank you very much. That's all for today.